Hello everyone, welcome on back to Alma, Missouri. So I got the uh, planter here all well, filled up as much as I can. This is all the seeds and liquid fertilizer we have. We're taking this down that way to the new field. Get the oats planted. Now I did think of this well, shortly after the last episode. After I, I, uh, after I recorded it. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish that large field that I was talking about putting soybeans in. If we were to plant it, I don't know if we'd be able to finish it. The big field. It took us a while to plant it this last time when we did uh, peas in it. And I would prefer to obviously get like, the manure going and stuff. So We do need straw for that. So this kind of takes the priority over, over doing that. Maybe we can just plant the grass field, maybe. Plant the alfalfa into grass. We'll do one lap around this field. Hopefully that can help the workers some. Then we do have the soybean straw to go ahead and sell. And I am a little bit farther into the day. I do realize that I uh, I skipped ahead so it would stop snowing. So it, w it wasn't going to take too long, so I figured I'd just skip ahead and yeah, the soybean straw. We do have to sell that. So one of those trips when we're bringing him back, when we're bringing the trailer back, we'll have to switch the trailer the normal loading mode so we can actually have straps on it and everything and then we'll buy a bunch of bags of seeds and liquid fertilizer because we'll have obviously a decent amount of fields to do coming up because we also have the corn at some point here I'm looking pretty tall tall already by the time that field is ready to harvest. We'll still have quite a bit left into the popcorn factory, probably. I think a lot of that will likely be put into like corn flour and stuff. I'm not sure about corn bread, but we can definitely do like corn flour. We could maybe do a little bit in the into the popcorn if we wanted. We already have it rented, so. And I did check in on the juice factory that has the lemonade and everything. Only the lemonade needs sugar, so. We don't need sugar right away. We'll just make sure we don't, well, make lemons whenever we do get those greenhouses going. That lifted. Uh, it might be easiest if I drive in from the ditch. And I'll just uh, get the worker started that way. Now, I'm going to buy a bunch of seeds. Probably five, six bags. And I don't know, three liquid fertilizer tanks. Now I suppose this is, will have a little bit of a, a mind of their own. Because this is just how it is. I'm not sure why, it's just it's the way it is on this map. So let's go to this case over here. Okay, that kind of works. For some reason that one bale is stuck on the top and it's not actually like auto loaded it on not sure why well actually I'll leave it in the collecting mode so if it kind of like starts going all over the place maybe I'll just collect it now we do need to see where we are going to sell this at all right so we do need to go to livestock bail sell point I'm not 100% sure where that is 
It's in the far or in the in the main town. Not too far from uh, the store, which is nice. Makes it a little bit easier to hop over there, get the trailer switched, and and uh, buy a bunch of bags of seeds and some IBCs of the fertilizer. Probably have to almost back up into here and then unload. So I'm assuming the cell point triggers right here. Yep. That was a nice, what, 41,000? 42,000. That's pretty good. We'll have another not quite that much to go. We'll probably be sitting at 500,000 though. Until I go and buy a bunch of bags of seeds. Which, I mean, I'll be doing that on my next trip. We're not in desperate need. We should be able to finish this field with what we have. But we'll, we'll probably need it either when we plant the grass or next time when we plant the bigger field. Because I, I really don't think we'd be able to finish it this month. I just... I think the last time when we did plant it, it was almost all month it took to get that field planted. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we started a little bit late or something, but... That was when the, the worker decided to plant into the alfalfa field. Which is why I now go around once on the edge, hoping the worker will stop before they do that again. Oh, worker H completed their task? No, they did not. No, they did not. I actually did reset them one other time because they went the other, the wrong way. This is the second time I'll be resetting them. Hopefully they should be good now. Hopefully. Never know with them. go. That should be the rest of the soybean straw bales. And again, like I said before, when I tried it, they didn't work in the cow barn, so that's why they're being sold. Otherwise, I would be using them. Alright, we're back here once again yet to take out that that stop sign there I'm kind of uh, kind of impressed with myself this is dumped right here it sold I think it should be five hundred thousand right yep five hundred and five thousand dollars Wow We are sitting very, very good right now. Very, very good. At some point we'll be looking to upgrade some stuff, I'm sure. Maybe a bigger wind rower, tether, that kind of stuff. Because those are fairly small right now. But maybe not the tether, that's not too bad. Oh, customize. Auto load off. The thing is, with a with a bigger wind rower, it's less time that we have to bail too. Tethering, I think it's fairly fast, and if we have grass, we shouldn't have to worry about having to do it ourselves. We could have a worker do it then. All right. Uh, I did see this earlier. 
I was heavily considering it. I just don't think we're in need of it. Be frank with it. I don't think we need it. Maybe a semi at some point. You know, that trailer would be nice if we did have a semi. All right. So big bags. All right, so seeds. How many do we want to buy? Just buy 8,000 liters. Why not? You know, why not? And then get some pallets of... Do I have herbicide on hand? I'll have to check. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty full load, I'm sure. Alright, we're back at the farm. Our nice fully loaded trailer. All the different products and everything. Say, I really don't think we needed the herbicide, but oh man, we do have a lot of uh, a lot of alfalfa bales here. I think we have well, 720 liters isn't a lot. We'll have a, a lot now. Well, what? Almost 3,000 liters now total. I still think. Next month, we'll probably plant the soybeans. Um, just because, like, A, we could just put them in the, the silo or something. I think the, the large majority of them, I think, would be ready June. The high, high price. So, we could sell a bunch of them, at least. At whatever price that may be. Oh, this finished? Well... Didn't finish, but said it finished. I didn't notice it. Otherwise, I would have uh, gotten it set up again. I'll get this little strip here, and then we'll start working on it ourselves. The only way to really get anything done is to do it yourself sometimes. Yeah, that cornfield might be ready next month. We'll be doing more harvesting. Seems like it's fairly often right now we've been doing a bunch of harvesting. Oh, I'm in the wrong screen. Yeah, next month. Should be ready. Very, very soon. We'll have to probably split that up too. We'll be doing some planting in there. And oh, yeah, we probably have weeds to spray in this field. It'll be a fresh, fresh crop, so there's going to be some weeds. It's not like we plowed it up either, so. We'll have to we'll have to take care of them. Yeah, I think we'll we'll think about buying cows somewhat soon. Probably before the actual straw is ready. Just so we have them. And we can just get the straw in there and we can get the manure attachment. Or silo, I don't know what it is. We can get that bought and placed. That way we'd just be waiting on straw then. Which I think oats are like a four month growth time, four or five months. Oh, it shouldn't take too, too long. Wouldn't think, at least. Honestly, we could be looking to buy a buy another field, actually. Even with, like, the productions and stuff I want to buy, we should easily have enough money to buy another field. We'd have to look around here and kind of see what's... what's growing right now, and... 
see the prices too. And kind of see what the soil looks like. See if it's any good. There are quite a few fields, it seems like, around here that are very heavy in, in clay. Filthy clay. Obviously, I'd prefer to stay away from those. But really, I think we could spend $200,000 on a good field and a little bit more than that and we'd still be fine. Yeah, then I'll have to, after we get that production going, I think for the most part, that might be a production that's kind of kind of constantly be going versus like the popcorn. Like once that's done, it's it, we may not do it again. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Kind of depends. I do need to look into cornbread because that might make sense if we're going to have corn again and we're probably going to put a lot of it into corn flour. Maybe it makes makes sense to uh, to see if we can do that. Pretty sure there's more ingredients than just the flour, though. Probably eggs, maybe. One more strip after this, I think. Just a little bit too short. Right, there we go, get it turned off, we'll get it folded. We can bring it up across the little bridge here because it is a bridge we can get uh, the seeds topped off and probably the fertilizer I'm not sure how much we use for fertilizer on grass but maybe a decent amount possible we have a little bit of time maybe I could I could start planting the big field and we'd only be able to harvest we'd hardly be able to harvest some of it the month before the higher price there's a chance we could actually get the entire thing done harvested before a really high price then too just thinking out loud <laughs> It's also going to look kind of weird because only half the field will be ready and... Well, not even half. It probably won't, wouldn't be half. Alright, there we go. It's going to look kind of weird planting grass into the alfalfa here, but... I just think... I think it might be best for us if we just, just did with grass. We don't have to worry about crop destruction on it then either. You can see the one weird line in it. That is where uh, that is where a worker decided to plant some peas into. Yeah, we can actually make silage from it. We can just give the cow straight silage if needed. Right now, all we're doing is alfalfa hay. And for the most part, I think the yields are fairly similar. I'm not 100% sure. Like price-wise, it's 350 and I think normal hay is probably... It's, it's pretty low compared to that, I guess. But, yeah, the price is, I guess, a pretty decent dip. But uh, it's just significantly easier to work with, almost. That would be, that'd be one way to put it. Just because when we're tethering, it's not the most entertaining job in the world. I can go and plant something or do a harvest, and a worker can do, you know, the tethering or something for us. It's not up here, it's gonna plant the entire thing though. 
Not sure why that is. We own both sides of this, plus up there. I'm not sure, sure if there's something that we're not owning in here. It's not letting us plant. Well, I do think it would be a pretty good time to do a time lapse. So I will talk to everyone once the time lapse is done. So we're just on the, well, almost last lap for the planting here. Yeah, I don't think we'll uh, get to really even touching that field today. This did take a little bit longer than I had thought it would take. We didn't really use too much for, for seeds, I wouldn't say. Obviously, fertilizer, I was in a fairly good state already. Oh, of course I missed them right there. I'll have to come back and get that. Still does look a little weird with that one strip in the middle. There's not much I could do about it now, though. Unless I sit, set the entire field state to, like, 0% fertilizer. But I said at 100 because, well, we had just fertilized it to max at that time. Well, max for precision farming, which is different than what 100% is, I guess. Better than what it could be, I guess. Got little bits here and down there to... Just clean up. We really got to make sure we get like every little bit, cause that you know little tiny bit that you miss, you don't you know you notice it during your harvest. That's it. But we'll always notice it in this field, cause it's always gonna be there unless I fix it eventually. I think I got most of the the little bits and pieces. Yeah, I think uh, it's probably about everything for today. We'll have to get to that field for planting next month, and we'll probably have the corn harvest. So, lots to do. Lots to do. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.